so sri kal students so today we are going to cover what is sphere and other parameters so a sphere is basically a 3d object we cannot draw sphere on the paper we cannot draw sphere on the paper it it, it can be felt it has volume it occupies volume it's a 3d object let's say this is a sphere examples of spheres are ball football rasgulla laddu pinni orange lemon right o is the center of the sphere r is the radius of the sphere right students so some people say earth is sphere but nay it's flattened on its poles so first is what is the surface area or like say total surface area or simply surface area of sphere so you know students how to remember it if i have a equivalent circle of same <coughs> radius r that circle is 2d object will have a area of pi r square and you know students the corresponding sphere having same radius is four times the surface area of circle so the total surface area are simply surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square yeah. and surface area is two dimensional so it will be some unit square means centimeter square millimeter square decameter square decimeter square whatever it is kilometer square if it is a very big swimming pool or if it is a very big ship area of that fine now students then comes the volume of sphere so volume is the 3d space inside a sphere so it can be the volume of a solid sphere it can be the volume of hollow sphere first let's find the volume of solid sphere students volume of solid sphere is 4 by 3 pi r q volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r q now students let's say uh, there is a spherical shell what we have a spherical shell means that in this spherical shell uh, it is having some thickness t so it has a outer sphere and a inner sphere right and inside the inner sphere nothing is there right so we want to calculate you know two things number one the capacity of the spherical shell is basically when i say capacity of the spherical shell is the volume of inside sphere is the volume of inside inside sphere so very simple students if r o is the outside radius r i is the inside radius then volume capacity of spherical shell or the volume of inside sphere would be 4 by 3 pi r i q very right now third formula in case of sphere is let's say this is a spherical shell it's made up of steel right let's say the thickness of the steel is t now this thickness t is equal to outside radius minus inside radius now we want to calculate how much volume of the steel is used to make this sphere right so then how we will calculate we will calculate the volume this volume of the material volume of material required to make a spherical shell so this will be students outer volume minus inner volume so it will be 4 by 3 pi r o cube minus 4 by 3 pi r i cube is the volume of material required to make a particular spherical sh sh shell right or you can say hollow sphere of thickness t where thickness of the sphere is equal to r o minus r i am i right r o minus r i r i very right uh, and 
and the volume of material required to make this spherical shell, shell is 4 by 3 pi can be taken outside. So we get R O Q minus R I Q. Well, students, these are the three formulas only required to do all the numericals we'll be doing right now uh, to solve. Now, students, there is nothing known as lateral surface area of the sphere. Why? Because lateral surface area exists only in case of uh, object, 3D object, which is having bottom surface area and top surface area. When we neglect the top surface area and bottom surface area, and we take all the areas on the sides, front, back, left side, right side, that is known as lateral surface area. A sphere touches the ground only on a single point. And same is the case when sphere touches the top also. Maybe it doesn't touch. Maybe if it is between two parallel surfaces, then also it touches the top surface on a point. That's why there's no question of finding lateral surface area of the sphere. Okay. So guys, lateral surface area of sphere doesn't exist. All right. Now we'll be doing some numericals on the sphere. So let's do students one formula we left. This is the case of hemisphere. What hemi means two parts always. You know, hemisphere is one sphere divided into two equal parts. Like you have a lemon and you cut the lemon into two equal parts, touching its center. Now, students, here important thing is there. When a hemisphere is cut into two parts, we want to calculate its surface area, right? So first of all, we will apply the principle that sphere is having a surface area of how much? What is the surface area of sphere? 4 pi r square. Write down area of circle, pi r square, multiply it by 4. That is a circle of curved surface area or total surface area or simply the surface area of sphere, 4 pi r square. And when I divide into two equal parts, it will be divided by 2. So it will be 2 pi r square, right? But student, you see, when, when, when I cut this sphere into two equal parts, this surface, which is shown in red color, is generated. A new surface is generated and this is a circle. So the area of the circle is pi r square. So total surface area of a hemisphere is half the outer surface area of the sphere plus area of the circle. So surface area or total surface area or uh, you know i can say uh, uh, the total surface area of a hemisphere would be pi r square uh, 2 pi r square plus pi r square would be 3 pi r square all right students now uh, here you know i can talk about the curved surface area of hemisphere <coughs> If you talk about curved surface area, you see that will be 2 pi r square means this area only. This is curved. The bottom area is not curved. Bottom area is circular area. Am I right? And that's plane area. Bottom is plane. Circle and a plane and a lamina is plane. Whereas a hemisphere or a ball or a laddu that is curved. Am I right? So curved surface area of a hemisphere, you can use this sometimes, there's a question. There is a hemisphere, you know, hemisphere dome is there. So hemispherical dome is there. And this is attached to, let's say, maybe a cylinder. So we have to paint this dome. Then you will not take into account this pi r square area. Then you will, uh, for painting purpose, you will use only 2 pi r square. Am I right? Fine. So this is complete thing about the surface area. Now, what, do, what about the volume of hemisphere, students? Volume of hemisphere would be half the volume of sphere. Because in this case of volume, the new generation surfaces uh, surface will not matter. 
सो इट विल बी फोर बाय थ्री बाई आर क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय टू वुड बी इक्वल टू यस वन रोज दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू बाय थ्री बाई आर क्यू ऑल राइट स्टूडेंट्स Now let's go. Let's get on to some numericals, right? Now he says, hemispherical bowl is made from a metal sheet. Is made from a metal sheet, having thickness zero point three centimeter. This is a thickness of metal sheet. Okay. Inner radius of the bowl. Okay. Inner radius of the bowl R I is equal to twenty four point seven centimeter. Right. Find the cost of polishing its outer surface area. See that. So now we are not going to talk about painting this bottom area. Rather, we are going to talk about painting only dome. this curved surface area dome. So it will. And now the area concerned is only two pi R square. Right. <coughs> Twenty-four point seven is the inner radius. Find the cost of polishing its outer surface at the rate of four rupees per hundred meter square. Rupees four per hundred. Uh, I'm sorry, per hundred centimeter square. So, students, yeah, may I ask, Sir Gun, how can I do it? Yeah. So. Sir, first of uh, first of all, we will find curved surface area. How we will find out? Uh, its formula. Curved surface area is two pi r square. Yes, sir. So what we will do? Two into twenty-two by seven into. Uh, sir, eight. Huh. R square will be. Ah. Uh, so this is the outer. Okay. This is the outer, outer area, right? So I will. And. And. And thickness and. Uh, thickness very and right because of. why? This is inner curved surface area, and students, this is the outer shell. And students, from here to here, this outer area is the outer radius is the inner radius plus this thickness. This thickness is t. That is zero point three centimeter, right? So it will be point three. I will add the square of this, right? So it will be two. Into twenty-two by seven into it would be I think twenty-five. 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 Oh, thank you. Twenty-five. Twenty-five is I think six twenty-five, right? So this will be curved surface area, and this will be equal to three nine two five centimeter square. <coughs> so what will be the cost of painting it? What will be the cost of painting? Now, if I, uh, you know, I like you see, hundred, what, hundred centimeter square. Cost is how much? Rupees four. Am I right? Hundred centimeter square, right? So the cost of three nine two five centimeter square would be four divided by hundred into three nine two five. So this is equal to we can divide by four twenty five. Four the hundred, four will cancel with four. Twenty five one the twenty five, and now I will get fourteen one forty two. So twenty five five the one twenty five, and then twenty five seven. So it will be one hundred fifty seven rupees. Very good. Now students, we can do uh, more. Okay. We can do more sums. How many balls each of radius two centimeter? How many balls? How many balls? These are small balls. I'm sorry, guys. These are small balls. This is having radius of two centimeter. Can be made by melting a big ball whose radius is eight centimeter. So, students, this big ball radius is eight. Centimeter, am I right? He says, how many small balls will be made? So, yes, Munroz, Deep Kaur will tell how to do this sum. Tell me. So we will find the volume. We'll find. Speak loudly. We'll find the big volume. Yes. Yeah. Then the smaller volume, and we will divide them. Yeah. Then we will get the number of balls. All right. So, students, now don't find the volume. Don't use pi. 
rather imagine pi will cut with pi mm. so you will get right number of so number of balls would be big volume divided by small volume big volume will be 4 by 3 pi what is that r 8 cube divided by 4 by 3 pi into 2 cube so this just cancels so it will be 8 cube 8 into 8 into 8 divided by uh, 2 to the 4 to the 8 so it will be 64 balls am i right right you've done it 64 balls beautiful all right guys yeah you have done this sum also and now we are will go we will do more sum see volume of two hemispheres see volume of two hemispheres are in the ratio 8 is to 27 volume of two hemispheres so the first hemisphere arman chhota hua ke badda hua pehle wala pehle wala chhota wow this guy is great but uh, his jamia late first one is chote wala and second one is bada wala bahut bada hai okay what is the ratio of their radii we want to find out ratio of their so obviously this radius we will see small rs and this area is rb let's say right so the volume is in the ratio so we will find volume of small divided by volume of bigger is equal to 8 by 27 now we will write the formula for the volume yes abhi what is the formula for volume of sphere 4 pi. by 3 pi r. r cube so this will be r of small cube divided by 4 by 3 pi r of big cube am i right so student this will cut so i can write it r s by r b or q beautiful so i get r s by r b q is equal to 8 by 27 can any girl tell me what will be the ratio of r s by r b yes but rose so it will be yes so it will be 2 by 3 2 by 3 is a right ratio beautiful because this can be written as 2 by 3 whole cube when the powers of two equal quantities are same powers are same the bases are also same guys these were the solved numericals <laughs> so nothing great courageous in doing solved numerical let's do some unsolved numericals also all right so students uh, we can do if the radius of sphere is tripled okay it says the radius is tripled radius of a sphere is tripled what is the ratio of volume of first sphere to that of second all right so we can say r2 is equal to what let's say when rose r2 is the second sphere whose radius is tripled So R two will be equal to how much R one? R one is the first three times the first R one. All right, that's great. R two is equal to three R one. Okay, so now we want to find out what uh, volume of first sphere to that of second sphere. <coughs> volume of first volume of first sphere. So V one by V two. He's asking students, don't find V two by V one, right? Yes. V one by V two. So can anyone do it? Yes, Amrit. How we will do? V one will be four by three pi r one q divided by four by three pi r two. R two is equal to three r one whole q. So the ratio of their volume will be anyone can tell one by three. one by three. Are you sure? One by twenty-seven. One by twenty-seven. All right. Ratio of the volume is one by twenty. Is it right? Let me see the answer. Correct. Answer is one is to twenty-seven. Bullshit answer given by you, Manro, uh, Manchamrat. All right. So, guys. Okay. Uh, now I'll be sending you some homework, guys. So I want you. You see this video once again, and in the comment section. 
manners. In the comment section, you please write down the uh, videos, uh, write down the answers. Uh, students, I wish you all the best. Please do subscribe the channel. Speak, speak loudly. Learn CBSC. Engineer on cars thing. Conspicuous name because self respect is not very really good. It can take you to hell. Okay, students, I wish you all the best. Share with your friends. Have a nice time.